Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a Halloween get ready with me and I'm also going to vlog a little bit because I am going to a party in New York City um, and it's, it looks super cool and it looks like it's gonna have like a, a bunch of cool shit so I'm gonna record a little bit there, show my costume and all of that. But before I go, I'm gonna get ready because I am going with my friend and honestly, if I'm being honest, I'm going with my friend and I do not want to film this in the hotel because I'm camera shy and I just know that like I could sit there and tell myself like yeah, like I'll just do it when I get there and then I will just like bug out the whole time and I just wouldn't be able to be my comfortable self in the camera and I would just be like super shy and like nervous and he was even like i can leave the room like you can just do it like i'll literally leave the room but like literally me knowing that he knows that i'm doing it is like gonna make me nervous like the whole time so plus the lighting is not that good in new york either and i'd rather have this like a very good video but yeah today we are going to be turning into morticia adams so i bought a wig and I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I think I'm gonna braid my hair. I washed it this morning and I just wanna make sure that it's dry before I put it in this wig because that would not be good. Um, I don't know why I decided this morning that I was gonna wash my hair, you know? Because if you have extensions, then you know that it takes like 10 years for your hair to dry. I don't own a blow dryer either. Um, but yeah, I think what I'm going to do is actually probably shouldn't use a scrunchie. I'm going to braid my hair like this. Okay, we're good. Braid my hair. And I think I'm just going to like pin it. And then pin it, you know? Because I put it in a bun and there was just like a bulge of shit, like, um, there was just like a bulge of hair in the back. I've never put on a wig before. I put this wig on just to like try it on and it honestly looks really good. I will link it down below. Um, I got it from Amazon. It's a lace front wig. I got a lace front wig because I feel like they look a little bit more natural than regular wigs and, um, I like actually still want to look good in my costume i don't want to like okay i don't think this is gonna work i have to way too much hair okay wait i think i can get it um but yeah i think that lace fronts just look a little bit more natural and i still wanted to like look good for my costume like i didn't want to just like get like a shitty wig and honestly like at first i was just gonna be i was just gonna have blonde hair and then my friend was like, no, bitch. My friend was like, no, like you need to do it. Like, let's have fun with it. And I was like, you know what? You're right. Because I never really try hard for Halloween. And I feel like this is the year that I'm gonna. So first things first is, um, oh, and my hair literally fell out. Okay. Off to a great start. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Fuck the pins. I think I'm just gonna do this like how I do my fucking, and then just slap the shit up in here. <laughs> oh my god! Like anybody watching this it would scream right now. Just like you know, I'm literally gonna be. My hair is literally gonna be in this the whole day. It's currently. What time is it? It's currently. Okay, I feel like I've watched like enough tutorials that I could probably figure this out a little bit. I feel like they cut the holes right here, right? I don't fucking know. I cut this too. I'm just gonna, I'm really just gonna try my hardest to make this as nice as possible. Right, is this what they do? Okay, yeah. Good thing I bought like multiple of these because I... Oh, 
I, um, oh, I just cut my hair. Okay, no. We're definitely gonna have some blonde showing um, in the wig. Like, this is just as good as this is gonna get. I would say that this would be the hardest part, but I don't think that it is. Okay, so I have this wig. I got this from Amazon. It's just like this super long black wig and it's lace front. And I've seen so many tutorials of like people like plucking the front to like make it like nicer, but I think I'm gonna do that when I have it on, if I need to. I don't, like I said, like I'm really not gonna do like all, like so much shit with it because I'm only wearing it for the night and I just need it to look like kind of good. I don't need it to look like the best like wig star of the world. I guess I'll brush this when it's on my head. Okay, fuck, I don't know, I'm scared. I literally got the longest wig because I was like, I need to be extra as fuck. And now I'm like, fuck, I literally have to sit in this all day. <sighs> okay, let me clip this back so I can like figure this out. I feel like I'm actually doing like a pretty good job with this, you know? I feel like this will stay on like long enough. You know, I feel like it doesn't need to be like that good. It's like a one day thing and I'm probably not gonna wear it again. <laughs> so then I bought wig glue. Um, and I have the remover too, cool. All right. Okay, now this, this I remember seeing videos on this part you wait until it's clear okay I feel like this is dry <laughs> oh my god this is where I want it wait don't you not want all of the lace on it I'm gonna figure that part out in a bit I don't know and then I'm gonna do this I just seen them do this Is that my real hair? Yes, it is. All right, we got black hair. Okay, I think I did it. I'm proud of myself, okay? Okay, I think. I did like an okay job, right? Okay. All right, the wig's on. So once I can like take this off and shit, I'm gonna start doing my makeup because I bought a bunch of like pale makeup to do because she's pale so I have to kind of look at what she's doing but also I'm gonna do like my own version of it because I still want to look like hot and I just don't think like some things look good on me like super thin eyebrows and she's super thin eyebrows so I'm just gonna work with what I am doing so I think I'm gonna start with my eyebrows because I'm gonna do them and I feel like that's just gonna like set the whole look you know so I already earlier today put in my brow freeze which I always do which she has like very thin eyebrows but um I don't care I'm doing what I want and I'm just gonna fill them in a lot darker I might go fully black but I'm gonna start with like a dark I'm gonna start with brown and then like kind of go from there um because i don't even think that i'm gonna need okay. definitely need black brows i feel like um the black is needed 100 Okay, so I bought some stuff. Where did I put it? Over here. Okay, so I bought some 
stuff. I didn't buy a lot of stuff. I bought this e.l.f. camo CC cream because I don't like thick foundation. Even though it's Halloween, you know, whatever. Like I said, I still want to look good and I still want to feel good. Like, I don't want to feel, like, uncomfortable. Um, so I bought this CC cream. And then I bought a new beauty blender because I was like, I'm, I don't, I'm not this pale. Like, I bought the lightest colors that they had. Oh my god, this is so pale. I love it. Oh my god, look how pale this is. This is perfect. What is this? This beauty blender. I'm literally gonna have to go back in. I'm gonna have to do my ears too. I mean, you're probably not gonna see them, but I'm gonna put them in my ears. <laughs> Okay, this is just looking horrible. Get you a girl that knows how to do their makeup. I just don't think that the bottom part of this is a beauty blender. Is this like, I feel like I should make this wet. Let's try that. And then we'll just like add more layers. Like, I don't know. A little damp, a little dampy damp. Like, what is the bottom of this beauty blender? Is that what this is for? No? Yes? Maybe this? Okay, I think this is blending it a lot better. Okay, I look fine, Zayden. Honestly, I wish that I would have recorded what I just went through. First of all, I didn't take the extra glue off of my forehead and it was just literally sticking to the makeup. On top of that, this foundation is actually just shit and like the way it's settling on my face, the way it was settling on my face, I took it off. I had it all on there and then I just took it off because I was like, holy shit, this looks horrible. Like I said, like I'm still trying to look good, okay? I was like, there's no way I can walk around looking like this and honestly, it's still bad. Like it's still like separating on my skin. I would never recommend this foundation, but anyway, we're gonna move forward and try, really, really, really try. So I'm also gonna set my foundation. This is, okay, this says translucent. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm gonna set it under my eyes. Maybe, I feel like that might actually like help it a little better. It's almost like a gray in here. But I'm gonna be contouring with black because that's, that's what she has. Okay, 
Okay, now I'm gonna do the eyes. This is the scary part. I don't, actually I need to kind of see what she does, but I definitely want to do eyeliner. I'm gonna do what she does, but a little better. Um, so I'm gonna start with some brown in my crease, just because we're gonna gradually get in to the darker color. But I actually really like this brush too. This brush is really nice. She does like a smoky eye. So I'm gonna do like my version of that. Okay, so I was going to add black up here, but honestly I like like how it is right here. I don't want to like add too much and then hate it and not be able to go back on it. So I'm just gonna leave it there. And then I just added some green glitter. She uses silver, but my friend's um, costume for Gomez is green and black. So I'm just gonna do green to like match him. Next. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do liquid eyeliner. So I'm just gonna do like a whole wing and shit and the inner corner thing. But I'm gonna do this off camera because I literally have to put my face into the mirror to be able to get this. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna come back and I'll show you pretty much done. I just need to put some white eyeliner. Shout out Kylie Jenner <laughs> for these lip things. But okay, I'm also gonna add like black into this because I did this yesterday and I thought that it looked better than just like bright red. So I'm gonna like just add a little bit of black. There. What? Okay. It's Morticia Adams. Okay. Let me fucking brush this out. Really? Can you see blonde hair in the back? Maybe. It's okay. Okay, well this is the hair and the makeup. I am done getting ready. I might make my eyebrows a little bit darker, but we'll see. Um, but other than that, I'm done. So I am going to pack all my shit right now. And then I'm going to head to New York and I'll show you guys my outfit. And then maybe my outfit with my friend. <laughs> it just depends because he doesn't like being on video. And then a little bit of the night. But... Thanks for getting ready. But that is all that I'm gonna be doing for the makeup part because that's all I'm gonna be doing for the makeup part. I feel like it doesn't look bad. I feel like it actually looks pretty fucking good. So I am in a different persona today. Also, I would not ever, also like I really did not do this week that well. So, but it's fine. It will work for the night. I don't really care. And I feel like I literally That shit looks so cakey, bro. Whatever. Mm -hmm.